Okay, Shalom. Okay, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Rakatha Yahweh, Rakatha Yahweh Shai. Rakatha Yahweh, Rakatha Yahweh Shai, Rakatha Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Rakatha Rakakadash. The bronze to our apostles of Great Millstone, our elders of GMS. And salutation, peace, and much blessings to the whole elect of the children of Israel, the fellow laborers that are filling up the gaps on the highways and the byways, people of Negro and Indian descent. Okay. So I'm going to begin here with Revelation 11 and 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the streets of the great city. That great city is America, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. So what I'm going to do here, blue letter doesn't give you a sufficient answer, but I'm going to go here to that etymology dictionary. Okay. Now to understand what this is, Sodom, wicked or corrupt place, wicked or corrupt place. Okay. Well, I'm trying to watch my wording, so uh, so let's continue on. From the sinful city in ancient Palestine, said to have been destroyed with neighboring Gomorrah by fire from heaven. Okay, from Hebrew, Saddam of unknown origin. Okay. Okay, Sodomite. Inhabit of Sodom, Sodomite, also a general term of a term of abuse. And now remember, I'm going to Romans, the first chapter, okay? Also a general term of abuse. And a lot of these words in correlations with the scriptures were directly from Latin, Latin some Sodomita. Inhabit of Sodom. And it gives you a scripture here. Okay. okay, sodomy. An unnatural. Remember, a lot of these words is cor in correlation with the scriptures. Unnatural sexual relationship. And that's clear. That's clear. Such as those imputed to the inhabitants of biblical Sodom. Especially between persons of the same sex, but also with beast. But also with beast. This place is destroyed, man. This place is gone. All right. So again, Revelation 11. And their dead bodies shall lie in the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. Where also our Lord was crucified. Okay. Well, this is what inspired the video for me to put this warning out there come on here we go the leaders of the people man nancy pelosi appear on rule drag race drag is what america is all about i also want to do this as well just out of curiosity look up this word drag what's in there Okay, drag, dragon, dragon, to draw a grapnel along the bottom of a river, lake, in search of something, to draw away by force, pull, haul, all right, let's keep going, to draw, both from Proto-Germanic, Dragonian, to draw, pull, perhaps from a pie, to draw or drag on the ground, pull, slides in, slides in, wow, okay, keep going, let's keep going, Latin, and to draw is possible but problematic, meaning draw, feet, tails, etc., along slowly, okay, 
Let's keep going. Transitive. Sense of move heavily or slowly. Hang with its weight while moving or being moved. Meaning to take a puff. <laughs> Violent fight. Okay, drag out. Violent fight. Drag one's feet. Okay, let's see. The, let's go to the noun form. Okay, drag. Perhaps from Scandinavian source, can read old Norse draga, a load. To draw again. So, from 1807, 1708, as anything attached to a moving body that retards its progress. Anything attached to a moving body body that retards its progress now i'm seeing where they're going with it and you know what they're considered that um retarding re, that's retarding their progress that body part hence drag race as the name of a device for retarding or stopping the rotation of wheels sense of annoying born person or thing Annoying, perhaps from the mechanical sense or the notion of something that must be dragged as an impediment. Sense of women clothing worn by man is by 1870, perhaps originally theater slang. Okay, that's the history. Sense of women's clothing worn by man. Is by 1870, perhaps originally theater slang, from the cessation of long skirts trailing on the floor. Another guess is Yiddish troll to wear from German Schrägen, drag queen, male transvestite or cross dresser. Okay. So it really has history to word as far as men wearing women's clothing so we're learning here <laughs> drag racing and we know it ain't no damn drag racing that's not what it's all about racing cars and whatever bikes and shit so let's go back to the nancy pelos nance pelos a demon man it's a demon she said drag is what america is all about now is that that if if that's not the spirit of y'all blushing y'all shy speaking, you know it's the spirit that's bringing these, that's making these people say the things that they say, man, and you know which which further is going to ju help justify the, the destruction of this place, you know, and this is the, you see all the apostles laboring and bringing out the wickedness and 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 again the prophecies, and it's exposing this place for originally what it truly is. You know, the many things, the bloodshed, the, you know, the deceit, the theft, the slavery, <laughs> you know, the false imprisonments, you know, the abominable behaviors, you know, on and on and on and on, man, you know, and again, you can clap to this, man. It gives me chills just even thinking about it, man, that literally this place is, is about to be destroyed. And, and, and we, the hopeful elect, the hopeful elect, yeah, I just uh, was chatting with a girl yesterday. Her name was Hope, you know, Edomite bitch. Her name was Hope. Well, she could have been a Jake. Who knows? But her name was Hope. <laughs> uh, just conversating with this hoe. Just foolish woman, you know. Um. Here, let's read this. Speaker of the House of Representatives Nancy Pelosi made an appearance. The television show RuPaul's Drag Race and a weekend, a weekly program on VH1 that features that that, that features these DQs. This, that, let me say this: a weekly program on VH1 that features these abominations. It's my honor to be here, Pelosi said after being introduced by host 
filth. Hey, Charles, your freedom of expression of yourself is in drag is what America is all about. And it is. And America is not going to be pleased until she get all the, you know, all the men to, you know, to turn. That's the goal, man. You know, it's to the point, and it will be, and it will get to this point where if you're not a mo or or in drag, you're going to be looked at as weird, strange. You know, what's wrong with you? You know, you need to lay down and get down. You know, that type of bullshit talk. This is where this place is headed, man. You know. And that's why we stress we're in need of a, of a, of a, of our Messiah. We're in need of him. Desperate. We're in desperate need of our Messiah. This is what America is all about. With the midterm elections coming up, it is very important for people to make their choice voices and their vote heard. Closely told the the DQs. One DQ praised Pelosi for her sarcastic, shady clap using. Explitus. <laughs> oh, Lord mercy. You want to talk about vexing. Romans 1 here. <laughs> you can start it uh Romans one to one because of that when they knew the most high they glorified him not as the most high neither were thankful but became vain in their imaginations and their foolish hearts were darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools and changed the glory to corruptible power into an image made like a corruptible man into birds and for food for the beasts and creeping things. So they give, we like to thank God, you know, a lot of these, they come out and actually say that. What God are they thinking? You know, what God are they thinking? You know, it's, it's, it's clearly the, it's, it's, it's the God of the left hand side, <laughs> you know, um, Because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, again, he, you know, this is condemned. Um, we're for the Most High, we're for the Most High, also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. And you know the heart. The lust of their own hearts. Here, give me a second. Ugh. Get my scripture, get my Bible here, so I can look it up. <clears throat> to the lust of their own heart. Okay. Um. Let me find the scripture. Bear with me for a moment. Okay, this is Jeremiah. I'm going to be opening up a lot of tabs here. Maybe I won't have to. Okay, let's open up Jeremiah. Come on. Okay, Jeremiah 17, let's go down to 9, verse 9. Here you go. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Okay, will it tell you? It's not your heart that's pumping blood. The organ that's pumping blood. <laughs> it's your mind, man. 
It's the mind, inner man, mind, you know, his will, heart, under his understanding. Okay. So let's just get that under, let's get, just get that out the way. Because, you know, there's a lot of simple amongst Jake, man. There's a lot of foolish, simple-minded people amongst Jake's, amongst our people. You know, things have to be explained to them. Okay, so the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? I, the Lord power, search the heart. I try the reins even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings. So here we go. Let's go back to Romans. Okay. Okay. Wherefore, yeah, the Most High also gave them up unto up to uncleanness, through the lust of their own hearts, their own, their own hearts. Again, we just went into that to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Who changed the truth of the Most High into a lie, and worship and serve the creature more than the Creator, who is blessed forever? Amen. For this cause, the Most High gave them up unto vile affections. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And again, you see, this is, this evil is multiplying, man, you know. And they don't have no problem with coming out now. You know, it's been made comfortable. They've been given a safe haven. They've been given um, security. You know, that they're at peace and safety now, you know. So again, for this cause, the Most High gave them up unto vile affections, for even the, their women did change the natural use that is into that which is against nature. Then likewise also the men leaving the natural use of the woman burning in their lust one toward another, men with men, Working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was me. And even as they did not like to retain the Most High in their knowledge, the Most High. And there's an example of uh, uh, dudes coming in the truth, so-called so coming into the truth and 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 and. and you know, that were moles and and that lust that burned they went right back into the world you know and the thing is you know um uh, personally i i just don't see it happening but <laughs> you know but um the truth is you you know he forgives you of all your sins you profess them man to the to your to the lord our power to Yahweh, bless him, Yahweh Shai. It's between you and him. It's a relationship between you and him. You profess, your, um, your, you, you re repent and you profess your sins and your, and you repent and sincerely, you know? And that's between you and him if he forgives you or not. But he do, he, and it's scriptural that he forgives men of all their sins, but the sin of blasphemy against the, the spirit of Yahweh, bless him, Yahweh Shai. You know? But I've seen examples of brothers I, I said, brother, I keep slipping up, man. I, I seen examples of Jake's that um that thought they were trying to come into the truth, and but still clinging on being a mole. And there was a dude that used to come out when we were downtown. That you can clearly see he's a a mole. You can clearly see he's, you know, he this dude ain't right. But he there was it was like several weeks he was coming out, you know, but it, it, he stopped eventually. <laughs> he just vanished all of a sudden, you know. <laughs> you know. This thing ain't no joke with these people. This is nothing to play with. You know, this is nothing to play with. Um, so again, and likewise, also the men leaving the natural use, leaving the natural use of the woman. 
And this is what this world is all about. That it's against that natural use. They're totally against it. They're laboring to be against the natural use. Men and women, men and women, they're against it. This world is against it. You know, so this world is contrary. This world is against Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. You know, and it's works. It's against it, man. So it's going to be a major clash. <laughs> We're coming down to showdown time. That's what I'm saying. You know, because these people really think they're going to conquer. They really think they're going to win. It's coming down to showdown time. And at the end of showdown time, there's going to be a, a smoke. You know, there's going to be a smoke burning. There's going to be a burning where the smoke is going to be send, uh, ascending up into the skies for a long period of time. You know, and we know through the spirit of Yahweh who's going to be in that smoke, you know. So leaving the natural use of the woman burned in, burned in their lust one toward another, men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was me. All right. And even as they did not like to retain the most high in their knowledge, most high gave them over to a reprobate mind, a foolish mind, to do those things which are not convenient. Being filled with unrighteousness, with being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, and whispers, backbiters, haters of the most high, despiteful, proud, what they call this proud month. Boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents without understanding, covenant breakers without natural affection, implacable and unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of the Most High that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. So let's go here. Where's she at? Um, hope I didn't lose it. Jeremiah 17. No, it's like it wasn't Jeremiah 17. Uh, Jeremiah. Let's try Jeremiah 14. Come look at this. Look at this. Okay. Must be some age and something. Listening in, I don't like this. I mean, come on. That's our job to go my come out here and you know, put these videos up condemning these uh Bono acts. We're commanded to do this. Look at this. Yeah, let me see if I can turn the Wi Fi off. My um, my um, actual uh, internet. There we go. Thus say Jeremiah fourteen ten. Thus said the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai unto this people. Thus have they loved to wonder. I love to wonder, Nua, to quiver, totter, shake, reel, stagger, wonder, move, sift, make move, wave, waver, tremble, to wave, quiver, vibrate, swing, stagger, tremble, be unstable, to totter, go tottering, vagabond, 
to be tossed about or around, to toss about, to shake, cause to totter, to shake, to stir, to cause to wonder. Vagabond. The meaning of vagabond is a person who wanders from place to place without a fixed home, one leading a vagabond life, a vagrant or a tramp. Okay. Okay. The other one, they have not refrained their feet. Therefore, the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh doth not accept them. He will now he will now remember their iniquity and visit their sins. Then said the Lord unto me, Pray not for this people for their good. When they fast, I will not hear their cry, and when they offer burnt offerings and an oblation, I will not accept them, but I will consume them by the by, by the sword and by the famine and by the pestilence. Then said I, O Lord, power, behold, the prophet say unto them, ye shall not see the sword. And that's the churches, ain't it? Because the churches accept them all and, and, and be, be as you are. We accept you all. Be as you are. Come as you are. And don't condemn these acts, man. And clearly, you know, it's an abominable, shameful act. It's unhealthy. You know? It's a deadly lifestyle, period. And the prophets in these churches, ye shall not, it's saying to them, ye shall not see the sword, neither shall ye have famine, but I will give you a short peace in this place. Then the Lord said unto me, the prophets prophesy lies in my name. I sent them not, neither have I commanded them, neither spake unto them. They prophesy unto you a false divination and divination and a thing of naught and the deceit of their heart. Therefore, thus saith the Lord concerning the prophets that prophesy in my name, and I sent them not. Yet they say, sword and famine shall not be in this land. By sword and famine shall those prophets be consumed. And remember, man, I just got chills again just thinking, man, that this is coming to an end. Getting chills just thinking that these people are going to be destroyed. That's that's helping continue this madness on, you know. They're all guilty of it, man. They're all they're all responsible for this madness escalating to this point, where it's to the it's televised. It's 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 there's laws protecting them. This this is madness, man. You know, where they got it's it, they call it hate speech. They call it. They're going to call it hate crimes. So, that, you know, we, we're praying for Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai to intervene. Because clearly the world is not going to do a damn thing. It said, and the people to whom they prophesy shall be cast out in the streets of Jerusalem because of the famine and the sword. And they shall have none to bury them, them, their wives, nor their sons, nor their daughters, for I will pour their wickedness upon them. And, you know, you got these women hanging out with these, with these, uh, with these, with these DQs, and and they be close friends, man. Like, 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 what the, what the, fuck? This clip is just complete madness, man. I did a search on the word visit. That's how I come up with that scripture. Visit. Because that's what's going to come. And that's why I like to refer to the day of visitation. You know. Hey, he's, he's coming, man. He's coming to, 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 to destroy this place. Um, Jeremiah 1531. Oh, that might be talking about Esau. But yeah, it's, it's, it's
Um, they sacrifice flesh for the sacrifice of my offerings and eat it, but the Lord accepted them not. Now will he remember their iniquity and visit their sins. They shall return to Egypt. <clears throat> so I'm going to leave it with that.